afternoon I'm going to be talking about uh, Barack Obama's Irish family history. Um, it came as a surprise to people during the presidential race in 2007-2008 that he actually had any Irish roots. I think he was very much thought of as being a first generation American and in fact we actually proved that through his mother's side he had very very strong links in Ireland but also we were able to trace his family back, going back quite a ways, we actually brought them back to the late 1600s which is not always possible to do in Ireland because of the big gaps in the records. We actually found that uh, although he, isn't, he wasn't particularly renowned at the time for having an Irish-American heritage, that in fact we could actually say a good deal more about Barack Obama than we could about John F. Kennedy or Ronald Reagan, who are very well known as Irish-American presidents. The sources that we actually used were key to tracing the story back. Key to those sources were Griffith's valuation, that actually provided our starting point, the landed estate court rentals, um, we, the wills and administration bonds, basically oaths administered by the consistorial court of the Diocese of Killaloo. And these records and more are actually up on the findmypast.ie website. These are the key sources we use to track the family back five generations, taking them back to 1698. We've got Amy from Find My Past and we've got a lady here who's looking for something specifically today. What are you looking for? I'm looking for, I think it's my... I think he's a great, great uncle and he was arrested, we think, during the Civil War for being on the wrong side of things, is what we think. So I just want to, we just saw the prison register, so we want to see if his name is coming up for okay. anything. Yeah. Well, Amy, the, 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 the prison records is obviously a very significant new yeah, addition really to Find My Past. Yeah, brilliant new addition. I mean, they went live yesterday on FindMyPast.ie and they cover the whole of Ireland um, from 1790 to 1924, so fingers crossed. Yeah. Have you? We found someone on the uh, Griffiths valuations. Today? Uh, today we found him, yeah. It looks like he had quite quite a substantial property about there, which was good. So okay, so you... Some, somebody was wealthy, right? Yeah, someone was wealthy. So you came here today, you, you didn't know this information? Yeah, yeah. Super. Yeah. Through the ministry of deeds, we actually followed the Kearneys. As I said, we traced the, the business transactions of the extended Kearney family. I'm searching, I want to have a look on the um, estate court records um, for an ancestor of mine um, that I know was in Armagh um, back in about 1860s. We've got a lady from Fermanagh, you've come down specifically to the Back to Our Past show, sponsored by Find My Past. What are you searching for today? Uh, to do with family history, my parents family, very little was talked about and I just want to find more. You're now in the queue waiting for I Find am. My Past to yeah, hopefully maybe. uncover. Uh -huh. I am, okay. I am, but I like the site itself. I have been online and I like the way that it's set up and it's easy to search. Your home. Sometimes it comes up as a detail. Okay. There might be a potential crime in the family that will be investigating in the courts and legal. Have you ever seen this document before? No. So that's that's a new find for you? Yeah. yeah. You've just come away from the find my past, you've had a search, what did you uncover? I've discovered that our ancestor got two eggs stolen from him and who the person who stole the eggs, they were stolen on the 12th of the 3rd, 1886. And he was Charles Gaffney, G-A-F-F-N-E-Y, stole two eggs from him. So you've uncovered that on Father yeah. Bass. Yeah. Thanks Thank so much for much. sharing Thank that. You. Thank you. Looking for my grandparents and my mother uh, my mother's parents. Okay. But we're we've come at a full stop, you know. No, we, we can't find it. To, uh, um, her mother's and her father's name on her birth certificate. And her birth and her baptism and that's as far as it goes. She was brought up by somebody else. So we have no one, anyone we could check it up on with is dead. So we thought we could find out who the father was by, by going here. here. Coming here. Okay, Amy, we what, what? Think, we think he's a soldier, so we're going to have a look in the British yeah. Army military collection. So okay. we'll see if he pops up there. So okay. fingers crossed. Pretty well so far. Well, I, at least I think I came with the family surname. And what we hopefully, hopefully have found is my granddad's 
father's name and his family. So hopefully this is going to lead somewhere else. So I'm just going to go around and see if anybody else can find something for me. So you're just really starting out today? Yes, okay. from scratch. We got to one point and we couldn't get any further. And now by coming here, we've been able to go back another generation and okay. find out because we knew where the land was, but we didn't know who owned it. So and we knew a name, but we couldn't fit it into our family. Okay. So now this confirms. And this has happened today. Yeah. What date does this take you back to? This takes us back to what dates on there? Seventeen. Uh, I'm not sure. It's um, where are we? 1794. 1794. Yeah. So that's a, a success for you today. Oh, absolutely, it's great. So have you used the Find My Past uh, website before? Okay, no. first time. Yeah. What's your impression of that? It's great. Gosh, this gives you more information than some of the other ones we've had. It's been absolutely fantastic. We've had a wonderful weekend so far. Uh, we, we've never tried it, so this was our first time. Um, wasn't sure what to expect, but we've been uh, blown away. Um, you know, really pleasant surprise. We've had a really busy stand um, for the last two days. Uh, we, we're promoting our magazine there, but also talking about our show, like you mentioned, um, which is in February 24th to 26th in Olympia in London. Over 18 million registered customers across the company in 36 different countries, and one of the main ethos is connecting people through technology. What have you established so far in your search? Um, well, I've done quite a lot of, of research already, and I've been able to get back to around about the 1830s. <laughs> but now I'm stuck at that point. Okay. Um, so I need I need help from some okay. of the experts here today. Well, Alan, you know, she, this lady has come to find my past. What is the best route to getting the information she needs? Well, she described her um, ancestry in Dublin and working under the Mount Joy um, area. So. Not that it's we're promoting it, but we just launched our new record set, Irish Prison Registers, 1970s, 70s to 1924. And um, they're very descriptive, I was describing her today, and she seems very excited about looking through those registers. Yeah, no problem at all, you can do a little search here and there, you know. Ladies, welcome back. It's nice to see both ladies back at the Back to Our Pass event with Find My Pass, and you're with Ross at the Find My Pass stand. How has the search been going, ladies? Well, it's been going very, very well. We're very pleased with this website, and I think we're both probably going to check out a subscription to it. We have um, the Land of the State Core records, yes. which are one of, the most, one of our most popular record sets, and they're exclusive to our site, so you won't really find them anywhere else. They're, all, they're held in the National Archives, so they're kind of hard to get to, and they're not indexed that well. But like our website has it fully indexed and stuff like that, so you really should be able to find some if you know like a specific area that you're looking at. Searching for records of my father, whose name was George Power. He was from Cork, from from Wine Cork. And he was fairly prominent in the War of Independence from 1917 up to the end of the Civil War. And it's primarily trying to find out, we know more or less his record through the War of Independence. We have his witness statement, which stops actually before, just before the Civil War. And uh, what happened to him after that, we don't know. We don't know where he spent the Civil War. He was still in the IRA but uh, didn't seem to be very active. And we're not sure, we actually thought maybe he might have been incarcerated, interned somewhere, but we can't find any record of that either. Searching for my um, ancestors in need, um, we have birds in Lobenstown, Newmans in Kildaki, Grace is in Old Castle, and Greens in Lobenstown. So I yeah. got, far, I got as far back as my great grandfather, James Bird. We've got a gentleman here from the UK, you're at the uh, Back to Our Past with Find My Past um, and you're on a search in Ireland for yeah. some ancestry. Yeah, I'm searching for my, uh, my grandfather on my mother's side uh, from his, his original records. I know he died um, just before my mother was born, she was born in 1923 in England, uh, but her maiden name was Riley. So I'm figuring that there will be some Irish ancestry there. Okay. And uh, so I'm, I'm here working at the moment in Dublin just for a week. Okay. And I heard about this exhibition. I thought this was a good time to try and find out something about my own past. My name is Brian Donovan. I represent a company which will be familiar with many of you called Enaclan. We've been involved in Irish genealogy 
for 14 years. We grew out in the history department at Trinity College. Brian Donovan from Ennetlan and Find My Past and you are just about to speak about murderers, rebels and drunkards at the Backdoor Pass event. That's quite right, we're just about to release all the prison registers online today uh, and we're also going to be releasing all the court records uh, early next year. Uh, but the prison registers are nearly three million records for the 19th century telling information about people who were incarcerated for a whole range of reasons and also information about their next of kin and also the victims are often named with their addresses too. So you learn a lot about Irish society by discovering why people broke the law. We have recently agreed a partnership with Find My Pass and we've set up the website findmypass.ie. It's a joint venture. We're delighted about this, not least because Find My Pass is one of the world's leading companies involved in family history. Uh, but also because it will actually give us the market reach to bring our material to the rest of the world and give us the resources to do a lot more. So today we've released another 3 million records. By the beginning of summer next year we will have released in 12 months 50 million records. That's the transformation of this business as I understand it and I've been around for quite a while. The court records will be going online next year there's another 15 million records next year. So I'm going to be talking about both of these today. This is year two of Back to, Back to Our Past. It's now uh, sponsored by Find My Past. What's Find My Past all about? How does that play into the Anaclan well, space? Find My Past is uh, well known in Britain as being one of the main international family history websites. It's well known internationally. Anaclan has for years worked on trying to produce expert resources for people to use to do change family history. And we decided to partner with them. We created a new joint venture uh, where we both own findmypast.ie uh, and we're actually making material available that way. We hope by doing this we have the technical expertise, the necessary funding to do it because it's not cheap and we also have the worldwide market to actually make this material available to the diaspora internationally. Today I want to talk about your ancestors and the law, court and prison records. Things you don't generally think about looking at. Why would I bother with that? My, my ancestors, I'm sure, are terribly law-abiding. Well, there's lots of reasons why they may have had a brush with the law. And the records that are kept there are enormous. You've got to remember that a state, like any other organisation, collects records about people for a reason. They don't collect records because you're doing genealogy. So you've got to understand what records are there, why they were uh, compiled in the first place, and what they're likely to tell you to help you in your research. So what do we have in FindMyPast.ie at the moment? I'm not going to spend much time on this because you can go and look yourself. They need to make the legal process fairer. People could actually be reformed. They weren't always going to be criminals. You didn't just have to kill them. You could reform them and make them productive members of society again. So paradoxically, prisons exist because of a modern humanist agenda that people can be reformed. It's good news for us because it means that the huge numbers of people who were put through the prison system, records survive about them, otherwise they wouldn't. Ross Weldon, Marketing Director at Find My Past. We're at the Back to Our Past event, sponsored by Find My Past. It's day three at the RDS. How's the event for you? The event's been great for us. It's our first uh, big event just at FindMyPast.ie. So we've had loads of people um, exposed to the site and getting to know the site a bit, a bit better. We've kind of just been guiding them through the process. Loads of people have found loads of really interesting records. We've, I think, helped a lot of people with the research, and that was kind of our main thing coming here today, coming here over the weekend. Is what we wanted to do. The numbers were huge over the three days yeah. for us. Uh, impressive numbers? Yeah, definitely. It was much busier than I thought it was going to be. We've been busy non-stop. The stand's been really busy the whole weekend, so it's really been great for us. Much more people than I thought, than we were originally expecting, but uh, it's really been great for us. Okay, Ross, thanks. Roll on year three? Yeah, definitely. Can't wait for 2012. Thanks so much. Great stuff.